I'm here to interview the entire staff of the Obama administration for this event, and I'm here. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're here to show the president the first out of 10 hours of our HBO series, Pacific, which I produced with uh, Tom Hanks, my partner, and Gary Getzman, his partner. POTUS and FLOTUS, you know what that means? The POTUS and the FLOTUS? I think they're going to be the President of the United States. Well, I'm in, well, I don't know where I am. I'm in the White, I'm in the, the White House. What part of the White House is it? We are in the East Wing of uh, the White House. Generals uh, galore, veterans. Uh, I think there's like, what, uh, uh, 40 seats in the screening room? Everyone will be taken with some sort of honcho and big shot. I think Steve and I might have to stand in the back of the room. Hello. I want the American people to realize that there was a battle in the Pacific in World War II. So much emphasis has been put on Europe. These battles in the Pacific are not stories that are often told by Hollywood filmmakers or television producers. Usually it's the battle in Europe in World War II that is memorialized or celebrated. I'm happy that uh, that is focusing on the Pacific because we've had Band of Brothers, we've had uh, the D-Day celebrations and observations, and I think this goes to the other side of the planet and talks about uh, the determination, uh, the courage, and the sacrifice that we saw in the Pacific on the part of, of all servicemen and women who served there. I read history for pleasure constantly, and I'm always stumbling across what I think are fascinating stories that if you ignore the fact that they took place 70 years ago, are actually about who we are now and what we're going through today, and I think this was one of them. These were kids off farms, you know, these were kids that were working in greengrocer, you know, you know, stores. These were kids that had high school diplomas and they were going to college and they were working, you know, in their dad's businesses. And these are all the kids that had never been out of their states, even their communities. And all of a sudden, they're fighting in faraway places. It was a baptism of fire, it was a coming of age uh, for entire generation of the greatest generation. And we're really trying to show people the kind of strength and courage that these young kids brought to the world. And in finishing the war and in, in, in victory, they were able to start restart America on a solid bedrock having defeated fascism. My first interview with any White House website, I must say. <laughs>